Okay, welcome back everybody. We have an, uh, one of our last runs of the Friday night run. Uh, you're looking for new Ghostbusters 2. This is going to be run by DNK Cafe. This is going to be an any percent Japanese version run. This is also one of our donation incentives. So, looking at our donations, it seems that the characters that won that are going to be played is going to be Ray and Winston. So this is going to be really, really exciting. Super excited to see this. Uh, with that said, DNK, take it away. Well, thank you very much. Ray and Winston, that is an interesting combination. Uh, I see some of the boys in here. We're not going to take too long here. My name is DNK Cafe, Dank Cafe. Uh, you know me by a lot of different names. We play this every year. So we got Ray and Winston. Ray first, Winston next. You guys can start the timer in three, two, one, go. So this is a very, very interesting game. Uh, this is a good Ghostbusters game. They do exist. Uh, this was a game I kind of stumbled uh, across. I'm not really even sure how I uh, found it. I think I found a random YouTube video that was telling me about, uh, you know, overlooked games or something like that on the uh, on the NES, and this was one of them. So uh, glad that I picked this one up because uh, it is a lot of fun. Uh, what you see here is I've got two characters on screen. I control one. I'm controlling Ray. Uh, the other one is an AI partner, so Winston right now is an AI partner. Um, he follows in a pretty smart pattern uh, as far as AI partners on the NES go. Um, basically right behind me in my path. Um, if he gets lost, you might see that happen from time to time, but he will follow uh, kind of that maze principle where you keep your right hand on the wall and just keep going until you find the exit. He'll keep going until he finds me. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen, but it might happen. You might see it. Um, what I do control on the AI partner is the, uh, the trap. So you see the trap getting thrown out as I stun lock the ghosts. Um, I do control that part of it. Um, everything else, the movement uh, for the partner is completely AI. So uh, it does make for a very interesting, interesting game, and uh, it's a bit of a challenge. This is not an easy game when you're playing it casually. Uh, there are quite a few little twists and turns here, some pitfalls, um, but uh, going through the routing, it's really not all too bad. Uh, we got the Scolari Brothers. We are playing in the courthouse, and by Scolari Brothers, that is level one. -da -da -da. Uh, this game will follow a few different locations from the movie. Level two, we're gonna be inside of the, uh, the train tunnels. Um, so we're going to get to see some of the uh, undead miners, the, uh, some, some uh, what do you call it, some floating heads and all this stuff. I'm not going to spoil too much. You're going to get to see what's going on here. Uh, these mine carts, though, these are nightmares when you're playing this game casually. Um, you know, it's not too difficult to guess their movement. Just, you know, look at the track and see how the track is going. But what is rough is they move very, very quickly, and these other guys that are on the jackhammers, uh, these other guys with the pickaxes, their movement is uh, very, very quick. So if you're not on your game, if you're not moving, you're going to get picked off by one of these minecarts, and uh, it's no good. It's one-hit KO in this game um, anywhere that you are. So anytime that you are you're moving around, your AI partner does not have a hitbox, but you have a hitbox, and it is fully one-hit KO this entire game. Uh, it's not too much of a problem. I'm hoping to make it through um, a, uh, a, a, a no-miss, as they say, make Captain Gordon proud of me. Um, but that, that is easier said than done, for sure. I think my current PV is a, is a no-miss, but it's, uh, it's, it's you know, not unheard of to have a run in this that is uh, with a death. It's, it's very difficult to get through this game uh, completely deathless. We're going to get through the ghost train right now. So these are the floating heads. If you remember in the movie, uh, they kind of showed up on, on spikes inside the middle of the train tunnels. Kind of a creepy part of the movie, but um, in this game, they're just kind of uh, silly floating heads. Uh, we're going to backtrack a little bit, take care of these two, come down this way, and we are going to find Conductor Slimer, and he's done. Suplex the train. I wish I could suplex this train. That would, you know, uh, shout outs to one of my favorite games of all time, Final Fantasy VI. I wish I could suplex this train. Uh, this first screen of this next level, this is where I always end up taking a death in a marathon. Not this time, at least not yet. <laughs> uh, these little guys, I call them the Pepto-Bismol slimes. Um, for some reason, those first four in that room 
They always troll me. Uh, this time I was able to get through, and we are we're, we're, we're clean so far. We're clean. Hopefully we stay that way. We got one over this way. We got these little guys, these flying spearmen. I call them squabblers. I don't know why. Shout out to Squabbler and the BKKC. Boys, I see you in here. Can't do this without you. Uh, this next screen, uh, you're going to get to see a new enemy in these uh, levels, and there he is right there. Uh, I, I discovered that for that first doorway, uh, there is an invisible trigger point at the halfway mark. Uh, and if you cross that trigger point, then that little, uh, that, that guy dressed in black with a sword comes chasing after you. Those are some ghost ninjas, and they are awful. You see a couple of them right here. Let's get one more. There we go. Um, those guys are run killers for sure if you're going for a PB. It's it, it's a nightmare trying to get those guys. Whoa! I disagree with that. Well, there goes the no miss. That's all right. No pressure anymore, guys. All the pressure is off. Unfortunately, if Captain Gordon was here, he is gone. We're gonna get a couple of scrollers. We got a couple of. Uh, oh, that door was uh, closed, I guess. Got a couple of ninjas, a couple of scrollers, and a couple of peptos. No big deal. Let's take care of this one right now. <clears throat> uh, the routing in this level is a little bit confusing. This is Peter's apartment. Uh, these elevators is what makes this routing a little bit confusing because you enter. The elevator door going down, and then you have to remember to keep, uh, or you enter it going up, and you have to remember to hold down uh, to start the next room. Otherwise, you're going to go back to the previous room. Uh, learning this game, it was very, very easy to get turned around and, and think, didn't I already do this room? And yeah, you already did this room. That's why you don't need to go this way anymore. And take care of these guys. These, uh, those particular. Uh, ghost ninjas that have the throwing stars there, nothing. Uh, it's the guys that have the swords. Those guys are the big pain in the butt. Um, and these ball and chain guys, they were a little bit rough at first until I... There's a bit of a movement pattern uh, in those uh, rooms with those ball and chain guys. So if you follow the movement pattern, you can just walk right into them and, and capture them, no big deal. A uh, couple of squabblers here. Catch this one through the wall! Okay, I did not catch that one through the wall. So there's another death. Oops. Oh, well. Supposed to catch that one through the wall. This is another one of those spawn points where if I don't cross a specific section of the map, I can control what comes next. So I control this guy, catch him in the hallway. I control this guy, catch him as soon as I enter the door. And that, uh, that pink uh, slime right there. Oops, it is. Alright, let's take, let's take care of these ball and chain guys without getting hit, shall we? Perfect. Alright, come down. Go up. Squabbler. Squabbler. I missed this one. I, th this is a room that I rerouted, but uh, missed the pattern on this routing. That's fine. That's fine. No big deal. No big deal. A couple of deaths already. We're not going for a PB. We're just going to have some fun. Now, as a kid, I did grow up playing the uh, the NES Ghostbusters game because this, unfortunately, was not available in the U.S. There is a U.S. prototype, but uh, it was never actually released in the U.S., so it's, uh, it's a shame that we did not actually get to see this. Now, there is a Game Boy uh, Ghostbusters 2 that is very, very similar to this game. Same sort of structure with the, uh, with the one guy controlling the beam, and then you have your AI partner. It is significantly harder because in that one, the AI partner has a, uh, come on, has a hitbox. So if the AI partner crosses the path of the ghost, then he will uh, take some damage. Now, there, there's a health bar in the Game Boy version, so it's a little bit different. Uh, are you going to come over this way? No? Not going to come over this way? All right, fine. Usually that ghost comes over to the wall, but he's not playing nice with me today. Not playing nice. This room, casually again, is a nightmare. I'm going to say that quite a bit. There's a few rooms that, when you're learning this game, are, are just insane. And this room, for some reason, just gave me so much trouble because of the movement of those uh, pumpkin head ghosts. Um, but if you take them out quickly, then there's no uh, what do you call it? There's no uh, there's no trouble. We get to see baby Oscar. Hi, baby Oscar. Hi, baby Oscar.
Less spoilers. I will work on doing uh, fewer spoilers just for you, Tetsuo. Uh, so we are going to be in the sewers now. That is a uh, pretty significant part of the movie as well with the pink slime in here. We got lots of different slimers. There were several rooms uh, in this stage that took some very particular routing. Um, we're going to see... You know, pretty much the entire time, we're gonna we're gonna have uh, some pretty special, some pretty special particular routing in this uh, in this level. Um, the problem with this level is that you see the pathway or you see the the movement of the slime in the sewer, and your character will move at half speed if you're going against the current. So um, right here in particular, I am walking on. Uh, half in the current and half on the uh, the bricks. If you're on the bricks at all, then you use the uh, your normal speed. So I'm going to try to do that as much as possible. We're going to thread the needle right there. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to wait for that one. The Z plane uh, in this game is not the greatest, as you can see right there. Uh, so it took a bit of a damage, but uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, just got to cut in super quick here. We have a donation from Talia1, 5 USD. His message is CG is out of here. <laughs> yeah, he's been out of yeah. here for quite a while. <laughs> uh, this, you this, want... Go ahead. Uh, if you want to put that towards any incentive, Talia1, just tell us in chat and we'll get that done for you. Absolutely. Thank you, Talia. Appreciate you, sir. Talia is a uh, another runner of this game. He and I were going back and forth on this game for a while. Um... This, this was part of a, uh, a little incentive. We got some of the boys in here, and the boys were all running games for two weeks just to see, you know, who could who could get a better time. Um, so shout-outs to the boys, and shout-outs, too, to Mad Mega and White Hat, who were kind of the pioneer of, uh, of this game. Uh, without those two guys, there's no way that we run this or have the routing for this game the way that we have it today. Um, a few things that, you know, he and I have kind of changed a little bit to make it a little more streamlined, but those two guys um, were definitely the, uh, the, 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 the fathers of this run, so to speak. Uh, luckily, or, and thankfully, we are near the end of this level. Uh, this level has eaten my lunch today. It's not been friendly. Um, so luckily we are almost at the end of it. Unfortunately, the boss for this level is also a bit of a headache. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it too much. Uh, I, I like to try to keep things close to the vest here, but uh, you, you'll see what I mean and I'll try to explain it once we get in there. Um, this is a room as well where your AI partner can easily, easily get lost. Um, and then he'll just start walking around the entire room looking around for you. And, and if, if the tracking is just off by a little bit, you're just spending an extra 30, 45 seconds in this room. Uh, you see all of these little patterns in in the <laughs> in the boss room here. All the slime patterns really hurt your movement, so it, it's difficult to get your footing down. Um, and not only that, but when you see the bosses spawn, it's just their shadows. And if they they try to lock onto you or to a spot that they think that you're going to be, the AI kind of reads your movement a little bit after. Uh, the boss shadow has spawned. So if the shadow spawns on top of you, you've got about, oh, there we go, okay, good. Uh, about a half a second to react and move. Otherwise, the boss just pulls up out of the slime and uh, will just, and it's, it's a death, it's a hit. So uh, luckily we did not take a death in the boss, which is good because I don't, uh, what do we have here, three lives? It's gonna be rough to finish this game with a with a one CC, but we'll uh, we'll get through it for sure. The museum here uh, is the last regular level of the game, uh, and it is definitely the hardest level of the game. There's a lot of, uh, uh, of guys that are coming your way, and basically anything that you've already seen in this game, you are going to see in this level. So we've got those ghosts that I kill. Uh, you, you see that I took those ghosts out uh, pretty quickly uh, without letting one go. If I were to have... Uh, you know, locked a ghost and captured it before I locked the other ghost, then um, one of the ghosts will start spawning little baby ghosts, and it's uh, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Their hitbox is tiny. 
Uh, this room is awful because of that ninja. If I get rid of the, uh, the sword ninja, that room's no big deal. <laughs> get some slimers in here. This is also the longest level of the game. Uh, I don't recall off the top of my head exactly what the timing is, but this is the longest level of the game. Um... Kind of a toss-up between this one and the slime versus uh, as to which one I think is more difficult. I, I think this one is probably uh, more difficult uh, in the speed run. Casually, I think the slime level is uh, is more difficult. This room is kind of rough because the slimers will throw stuff at you. Uh, but if you just do this, you can catch slimers through the wall and you don't need to worry about it. Got a couple slimers in here. Again, trying to throw stuff at you, but follow the pattern. There's no, uh, it's no thing. It's no thing. We do need more runners, guys. We need more runners. Right now, our my uh, my current PB and the record is sitting just over 19 minutes. I think we can get this down under 19. Um, I mean, I, I know for sure we can get it down under 19 minutes, but it is not an easy run to do. I would love to see some new runners in this, get some new blood. Um, and see just how far we can break this. I don't know of any glitches in this game, uh, aside from there is a bit of a beam wrap that has absolutely no utility as far as I can tell. Um, I would love to be proven wrong, but uh, so far I have not found anything that would be helpful uh, in melting time in, uh, let's, shall we say, unethical ways. So we've seen the Scolari brothers. We're gonna see some of these ball and chain demons as well. We got a runner here, some paintings that are coming to life. Uh, a little bit of everything in this level right now. So catch this one, catch the runner, and catch this painting. We got some ball and chain guys in this next room. But with careful routing, no big deal. They don't even get to they don't even get to throw the ball and try to get me. They don't even get to throw it. Uh, this room is another one of those rooms with the uh, spawning ninjas that is an absolute nightmare casually. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to how they spawn. As far as I know, it is complete RNG. There's a few different sections that I've noticed some patterns in this game. That room is not one of them as of yet. Uh, my AF partner was trying to wander off, but uh, I called him back. I called him back. We're catching a lot of Slimers through the wall in this section uh, to try to avoid taking damage. There we go. When this room goes well, it's it's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Uh, this room as well uh, has gone through an evolution of, of strategies. Uh, hey, I forgot where that one was spawning. Um, and right now I'm, I'm kind of workshopping a new strategy for this room. So you're seeing something that's basically brand new right now. I'm sharing this brand new with all of you guys. Let's do one, two, three, four. Okay, I almost got uh, I almost got taken out by that last slime there. Some more heads. And as soon as we take care of these heads, we're gonna go see your friend and mine, Janos. Get some shout outs for Janos. So Janos will split into three uh, mirror images of himself. Um, when you don't know how this fight goes and you see him just spit out these, uh, those pink balls at you, it's, uh, it's kind of scary and you get panicky. But really this pattern is down, up, down and catch. So I, I like to catch. I like to uh, stun lock Janos on the bottom left here because it makes this pattern a hundred percent. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, consistent. That's the word I'm looking for. Down, catch. Down, up, down, catch, guys. Down, up, down, catch. The hardest part to wrap your head around with this game is some bosses, like the slime boss in the previous level, um, his initial forms just disappear. They just disappear. You don't have to catch him. You only have to catch the last one. This boss, you have to catch him each time 
that uh, he turns pink like this. So if you're not, you know, if you don't know how the game works and you get into the boss, then it does feel very frustrating. Uh, I've caught eight Janos clones, so now we get number nine and number ten. And we are approaching the last level right now, guys. The last level. Uh, and uh, if you're not able to guess who we're going to be fighting in the last level, well, I really can't help you. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to see it right now. Uh, we're going to walk through the rest of the museum, right to the pedestal where we see a little bed right there. The bed, of course, for baby Oscar. Yeah, I use level in the very loosest term here. Uh, we are, of course, fighting the painting, Vigo the Carpathian. We're going to shoot him right in the <clears throat> chest. Uh, the beam is interesting. The beam lasts for a very specific amount of time. I, I don't recall how long it is. It's maybe five seconds. So I have to refresh the beam. You're seeing me release the A button and press it again to have a constant beam on him. Um, if he, I were to just hold the A button down and try to have the beam on the entire time, it would go away because the beam only lasts for about five seconds. So I hit it, go down. And if I don't get hit by the balls, this level, uh, this yeah, level lasts only about 59 seconds to a to a minute five, ideally. And time will be now. Time is now. Not bad. Not bad. Looks like it was about 20 and a half minutes ish. So under uh, underestimate. So uh, real quick at the end of the game, again we could use some new runners for this guys. Always need some new blood. Uh, we got Telio, myself up at the top, Mad Mega, White Hat following right behind. Thank you to everyone that was in here. Uh, thank you to the support that I've got. Shout out to the BKKC. We got Tets. We got Pile Pingto. We got GY not here. We got Meds. Uh, we got a little bit of everybody. QC, thank you very much. I saw you in here. Uh, S3, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Uh, Squabbler, thank you so much for your support as well. Um, I'm going to get out of here, guys, but it's a pleasure sharing this game with you. Uh, this is the second or third time I've been able to play this. Um, and uh, glad to use new characters each and every time. So thank you again very, very much, guys. Uh, and until next time, we'll see you later. Awesome, DK. Thank you. We appreciate that. That was a really good run, man. Thank Congrats. you very much. Yeah, 20 minutes. That was uh, that was really, really good. Um, So don't go anywhere, everybody. We're about to have a, another run coming up here. It's going to be Mega Man 1 through 6 by Krebel Star.